These assembly instructions are general and apply to all of our futon models. If you have questions about a specific futon model, please call the telephone number at the end of this video. Our futons are packaged in two boxes. One is labeled box one of two and the other box two of two. Box one contains the futon's frame arms and box two contains the frame body. Begin by opening both boxes and check that you have the parts required as shown in the assembly instructions. If you do not find a set of instructions, you may download them from our website at www.wolfcorp.com. Find a suitable area for assembly of the futon, preferably an open space on carpet. If assembling on a hard floor, we recommend first laying down a blanket to prevent scratching either the furniture or your floor. In the hardware kit, find the two hinges and open them. You will find an L printed on one of the hinges. This is the left hinge. Now locate the two arms and find the one marked with an L sticker. This is the left arm. Using the Allen wrench provided, bolt the left hinge into the left arm using two short hex socket head bolts, four flat washers, and two lock washers. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. Repeat this procedure for the right side using the hinge marked R and the arm marked R. If the hinges are tight when opening and closing them, you may use household oil on the pivot points. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. Now locate the stretcher rails and insert the connector into each section. Insert four short hex socket head bolts through the top and hand tighten. Align the T-leg with the bottom holes. Insert four of the same bolts through the bottom and hand tighten. Now tighten all eight bolts with the Allen wrench provided. Repeat this process to assemble the second stretcher rail. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. Now attach the stretcher rails to both the left and right arms using eight long hex socket head bolts. Begin by hand tightening all eight bolts first, followed by using the Allen wrench to fully tighten them. Install the rubber pads on top of each stretcher rail at each end about an inch away from the arm to prevent the metal frame from scratching the rails. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. Locate the two seat back metal pieces. They are the ones that do not have the U-shaped raised metal handles. Those are the seat frames that will be assembled next. Insert the two connector tubes into one section of the back frame. Secure them with four short hex socket head bolts and hand tighten. Now insert the second back frame section into the other end of the connector tubes. Secure with four more short hex socket head bolts, hand tightening them only. Once all eight bolts are correctly inserted, tighten them securely using the Allen wrench. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. Now repeat the previous procedure for the seat bottom frame. That's the one with the U-shaped handles. Make sure that the U-handles face the same direction. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. Make sure that the U-shaped handles on the seat bottom frame are pointing up. 
This will help hold the futon mattress in place. Attach the seat bottom frame to the front portion of the hinges using the Allen wrench and the open end wrench and four long hex socket head bolts, eight flat washers, four lock washers, and four nuts. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. Attach the seat back frame to the back portion of the hinges using the Allen wrench and the open end wrench and four long hex socket head bolts, eight flat washers, four lock washers, and four nuts. Pause video here until you're ready to proceed to the next step. For extra strength, attach two hooks between the seat frame and the back frame in the pre-punched holes. When raising the back of your new futon, remember to lift from the center for correct operation. Now insert the futon mattress and take a nap.